the beginning is to say to you that Ikechuku, if some Nigerians were telling you that you shouldn't have given me opportunity to speak, tell them that so many television houses and individuals had approached me to speak on different issues since I left office and I declined. Two reasons why did I why did I decline? Two reasons. My publicist said don't speak. And I chose to be my publicist. And he's very angry that I'm speaking today. He knows. Second reason, what is new to say? Nigerians don't react to anything. Has any politician told you that he's not a thief? Tell me one politician that has told you that he's not a thief. Tell me one. I don't know why you're guarding with forgery, no forgery. What politician told you that he didn't forge? Which politician told you he went to university? Which politician told you he served in NYSC? Which politician told you he has a certificate? Nigerians know and still vote for them. So what's your problem? <laughs> no, tell me what's your problem. So I said, why should I speak when already there's nothing new? Okay, you observe Buhari's period. I will leave Potak 1 a.m. I arrive at Abuja, leave Abuja at 3 a.m. Somebody said they made Buhari. Did I say anything? I didn't say anything. It's not, it's not important. Nigerians choose who to believe and who not to believe. Nigerians choose who to vote and who not to vote. Even if you come to a Nigerian man's house and kill the mother, and the father will continue his life. Nothing bothers you. Nothing. So why do I waste my time? Yes, that's the original. So give it to me. You see it? So that you won't say tomorrow he brought photocopies. But when we get the act, when we're talking about Buhari's government. So, there's nothing that our chairman said that is new. Absolutely not new. <laughs> I've seen this several times. I've taken so many risks. I've said too many things. The fight from Good loss government to various governments. You all knew about it. My, my aircraft was seized. I was shot at. If I was killed, what would happen? Nothing. Nothing. So you would die a useless life. So what did I choose? I, cho I chose to stay in my house quietly. Fortunately for me, I got admission to study in, the, in Nigerian law school. And rule number one is, like they told me if I came here, you are our property. You have no right to go anywhere unless we permit you. That's the rule in the Nigerian law school. So, anybody who says, why have we not seen you? Ah, I'm a student of Nigerian law school. Until I graduate, I can't, I can't disobey them. So, I chose not to speak again because there is nothing to say and because Nigerians will do absolutely nothing. If you say it's a line, line up 10 Nigerians and shoot them tomorrow and nothing will happen. If you say it's a line, in fact, the worst thing about Nigerians is that even when you claim you're not uh, committing any crime and they pick you up tomorrow, we said it is a thief. Nigerians will join. They will cross it and you go to prison for nothing. The greatest fear I have is being found in prison for nothing. And you can be found in prison for doing. So, I don't want to repeat what I used to say before because you hold it against me. Those who are close to me know. We repeated yesterday. I will just only use one word. I won't use the rest. I say it's a hopeless situation. Is it a lie? So, let's go a bit further. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get before that. You will be shocked that I won't talk about Buhari's government for two reasons. And I won't talk about uh, President Tinubu's government. One reason why I won't talk about Buhari's government is that I'm a participant. But I, they asked me that question yesterday. What moral reason do you have to criticize Buhari's government, having been part of it? That was the argument. I do, if I want to argue it. But again, that was a huge debate amongst us. And we are all agreed I should say nothing about the government. So I now told them, if I will say nothing about Buhari's government, I will also say nothing about President uh, Tinibu's government. Because you know the problem. Instead of Nigerians finding solutions to their problem, they are committing suicide. I'm praying for you every day that you should continue to commit suicide. So that by the time I wake up one day, all of you have died. I can now reap the benefit of your death by taking doses. <laughs> what other people resist, like in Ghana, as it's going on now, like in Kenya, it's what Nigeria, no worry, not be four years. After four years, you go. The man wins the second term, whether by magic or by crook or by reason. You know, not be only eight years. Not be, not be, not be good luck, not be good luck, don't go so. Not be worried, don't go so. He goes soon go. Another person will come and repeat the same thing. You'll be saying that until the day God will come for those of us who are, who are Christians. So I, I have chosen to be like you. Say nothing here and do 